Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play. Last time we got this uh, what was it, a mini hub down here at Maidenhead, and it's time to actually throw some trains on it. I've just noticed, though, we've got a bit of track there that I don't like to have in my double depots. And I'm going to clone one of the existing trains from up here, just to make it a little bit easier. We'll clone one of the grain trains. You know what, while we're up here, I'll just quickly find one of the um, livestock that was the word I'm looking for livestock trains and uh, let's get this grain train and just delete the first two orders and then we're gonna say we're gonna make it go to the grain uh, waypoint and then full load at the hub okay and then we'll do the same for the other one except we're going to go to livestock and then full load at the hub. So I'm just pressing control to get that full load order in there. If you want to do a transfer order, by default there isn't a keyboard shortcut. But if you go into the file with the keyboard shortcuts, I think there is the option to assign one. So, um, well, I don't know whether that's interesting or not, but jobs are good. Un. Right then, uh, so how many of these should we have? I think we're going to need at least five of each. Uh, I've got four of each there. That'll do for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send them alternately. Just so they don't clog up around here. Because under normal operation, they'll be fine. But we've got you know eight trains all diving into this part of the network at once. It's going to be a bit of a pain. It's going to be a problem. Okay, uh, speaking of pains and problems, let's check in, check in at Caution Interchange. But before we do... Uh, for those of you who are playing along with this series, again, thank you for taking part. It's fantastic to have you joining in. It's great to see your game saves. And the game saves that we will need yet at net... Back up, Hellish. Speaking of game saves, the ones that I need next are your 2000... I can't even get it right there. The year 2000. We're doing the year 2000 next. Um, so save your game at the year 2000 if you haven't already and send them to me. Go to my website, masterhellish.net, to find out the ways you can contact me. Right, caution interchange. Oh my goodness, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Uh, right, let's have a look at the worst thing. I mean, I've got, it's, it's gone up to 9,000 already. The worst one here is from. Where's that? It's over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just check in at Corsham Interchange and we'll add five more buses for the worst offending destination each time to try and alleviate that destination. And we'll see how it goes. And we'll just keep going backwards and forwards to it. So that's thing number one. We've got the trains up and running over here. Uh, let's just get the rest out now, I think. It's probably going to be okay. And so we've got this, uh, we've got these two farms here that's been covered by this extra long train station. We've got another one just over the tracks here. So let's get that connected up with by road. Similar to like what we did last time. Actually, I think we might be able to just have our truck stops over here. Yeah. We can use a little bit of the town's existing infrastructure to just connect those up there. Let's do that. And there's a nice little T junction. Oh no, it's not a T junction. A nice little turn there. So we'll put a bridge over. I do like the looks of bridges better than the looks of tunnels as a personal preference. But um, um, let's do a little road up to there and a little drop off section here. Now, in theory, if I hold control, I can spread station that. Fantastic. We've got uh, a double decker ding ding. That's something we need to do in this series. Trams. We've, we've got them. We definitely need to do something about trams. Okay, so let's make sure we've got a depot at each end. That will do. And we'll just nip up here again. We'll, we'll borrow some recent vehicles that we made. And we'll just clone them. So I will clone that one and I will clone this one there we go 
So that's this. these ones pretty much sorted out. Let's delete all the orders. We'll tell them to full load here. And then this is what I was talking about um, earlier. We can't just transfer with a keyboard shortcut. Maybe I should set up a keyboard shortcut for that. That would be good, wouldn't it? So full load here. And then go there and transfer. And I think it's a relatively short distance. Let's, I mean, where, where's it gone? How many should we do? That's three. Let's go with four. Four road vehicles each way. Fantastic. Right, now they're the latest road vehicles. Should we have a look at, oh, hang on. We've done another job. We need to go back to caution. Okay, let's have a look. What's the situation here? Okay, it looks like it might be slowly improving. Um, we, what's our biggest offender now? It's still from. Okay, uh, let's put some more in then. Let's let's clone another five. We'll we'll keep doing this until we fix the problem. All right, uh, what's our next thing we're going to look at? Oh yes, we're going to look at the road vehicles and we're going to look at replacing them because it's been a while since we've done that. And we've got a few buses of the old type, so if we replace them, instead of going 60 kilometers an hour, they go up to 93. That's much better, and carry more passengers. I mean, they do cost more to run a year, but in theory we should make more profit. And reliability is the same, so we'll definitely get that upgraded. We've got a few old livestock vans by the looks of it. Uh, slow, fast, reliability 84, reliability 81. Carries a little bit more livestock. We'll definitely replace them. And it's a similar thing for the grain vehicles. So there we go. We've got the road vehicles all being replaced. All right, let's have a look at the railway trains and have a look at replacing them. Right, it looks like we've already got a replacement on the go. Yes, we have for the Floss 47. Looks like it's potentially the best one. There is a 40 electric. Now, the 40 electric is one less percent in reliability, but it goes much faster. The only thing is, we'd have to convert the entire network to electric if we just outright blanketed, re um, changed all of these engines. I think. I don't know whether I'm going to do the entire network. I saw a few comments on my Let's Play series, on, on this series. Um, some people were saying, oh, I think you should like do certain lines and make them electric, like the passenger lines maybe. But I'm not sure. I just feel like eventually it's going to be best to have electric trains all over. Why not just convert it all? So... We'll see about that. We have got three trains that don't seem to have converted. So let's have a look at the train list. And if we sort by model, there we go. There's our three. Well, one of them is stationary. So let's go there and check out what the situation is. So it looks like... Oh, it's actually a train we stopped. Uh, in which case we'll just sell it. There we go, we don't need that. Jobs are good. And what was the other ones? The other ones... Let's have a look. You're over here. Right. Well, you're going backwards through a station for... Uh, oh my goodness, it's all going wrong. What? Ah, uh, look, look, at look. we've got signals the wrong way around. Okay, let's get this train to turn around. And then we'll fix... No these signals We've got bits of track here we shouldn't have so these signals being the wrong way around has broken absolutely everything but in theory now all of these trains will start moving it's just going to take a while for them to clear because their reliability is zero they've been stuck there for a long long time um, that one's just going to go around. Yeah, okay, Th those two are going to be all right now. Cool, okay. So, um, oh, yeah, back to caution. Where is it? Where's caution gone? Uh, we are... What is that? Oh, I know where we are. So caution should be down here. 
Right, what's the situation at Caution? Oh no, we're back up to nearly 10,000. And it's Swindon now. Swindon is causing the biggest problem. Where's Swindon? I thought Swindon was this side. It's not. I went completely the wrong way for Swindon. Okay, let's clone the vehicle. And send them on the way. Let's try and clear the Swindon people out of Corsham Interchange. It is getting very busy on this side. A little bit chocker block. Maybe if we haven't... No, we can't have a road there. If we have a road here, that might help with things. A little... I don't know. It is just generally very busy. It seems to be that having options of depots in various different places does seem to help. I guess also you could connect the back section here together. I don't know whether that would be good or bad. But in any case, there's, there's no traffic piling up there. Okay, what was next? Oh yes, right, so I had an idea... And the idea was that we would look at the world map, turn off the town names, go into industry mode, and have a look to see if we've got any new farms or coal mines show up or anything like that. So if we have a look at farms and just have a look at these hubs, are there any farms near the existing hubs that we could connect in? We've got a few farms here, but there's no hub down there. Um, here's another hub. There's, is that a, that's a farm next to a coal network. Uh, oh, look, here we go. We've got a farm very close to our existing hub over here. So this is our pre-hub. We've got trains going backwards and forwards. Stop it. It's trying to go to Walston Hub. Oh, that's a separate station, and I don't think it's supposed to be. Wow, that that's a pain. Uh, number of tracks, three platform length, six. Connect it to the hub. There we go. Now these trains won't get lost. <laughs> okay, so we had trains getting lost there. But that's okay. Okay, so we've got another farm just here. So I think it's close enough again to pop some road vehicles in. So uh, there we go. I I don't have like a set design that I force myself to use every time with these. I, I, f I try lots of different things and flex around and, and just do different bits and bobs and, and just see how it goes. And uh, if I do something and I think to myself, oh, that's not really working, then I'll probably not try it so much in the future. Right, let's clone one of them and also clone one of them. Excellent. We need to change the first order, but only the first order, because the second order is the same. We'll do the same on this one, delete that. Put that, no, not non stop, skip. So we're going to Stratford upon Avon South first. And I think three might do it each. There we go, off the go. So there we go, we've got a new farm that's popped up next there. I think that was all the farms, but so let's go over to Caution Interchange and see how it's going. Okay, it has come down a little bit. We're at 8,700, and again, it's still Swindon. Swindon is the one with the biggest problem at the moment, so let's get another five on their way. Right, let's check for new coal then. Let's see what the situation is on the coal network side of things. Or should we do iron? Let's have, mm, let's check iron ore first. Iron ore mines, they're brown, they're a bit more difficult to see. So we've got iron ore mines hooked up down here. There's one sort of off the beaten track there. There's another one that we might connect in here. None that really jump out at me as kind of, you really must connect this up. 
Um, it's a bit more difficult to see the iron ore mines in this view because the brown and the cities are kind of a reddish brown. But um, there we go. Uh, okay, let's check the coal mines. That's going to be easier. So this is the northern coal hub. And I'm looking around here. There is a new coal mine over here by the looks of it. But it's near the main line. It's not actually near the hub infrastructure. So we probably won't do that one right now. And down here... Uh, what's the story? What's the story? Let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like we've got all of them connected. All of them are... There's no extra coal mines here. Uh, oh, oh my goodness, look at that. That is not right. We've got 1,400 tons of coal there. And I bet we haven't even done like the... Oh, we have bought a statue of the company owner. Have we done the statue of the company owner over here then? We haven't. Oh, right. Okay. So a few of these towns, we did not build a statue of the company owner. And that's important. I'm just going to check... With this coal mine, local authority is Dover. Um, it's important to build a statue of the company owner in places where you are taking resources from somewhere. Because the amount that you get from the industry depends on your ratings on the station. So we've got ratings of 70% at that station at the moment. But those ratings will now go up, I think. They might go up. Let's put a, let's put um, a statue of the company owner over here as well, just to make sure. Okay, so that's all the statues. Where are all the trains? Okay, so we've got a bit of a backup here at the south pickup, and oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness, there is next to no coal in the south hub. Well, we've been adding trains in the North Hub. Look, we've got 7,000 tonnes up here. So we've got loads of coal up here. What's, what's happening down south for that not to happen? So we do have trains moving around. They're breaking down a lot. We've got quite a lot here that's not been shifted. Yeah, look, the ratings are 54%. That's terrible. Uh, where are all the trains, then? So I just need to actually fix that one. Well, there's quite a few trains here. And there's some here as well. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh no. A massive section of track with no signals. How did we miss that? That that mistake has been in this series for a long time. So many episodes. And not only is it just like... It's not like just a little mistake where it's going to slow the trains down a bit. It's actually affecting the production badly. Very badly. The trains are stacking up. Well, well let's fix this. Okay. First of all, signals. Okay, we've got signals up to the depot now. We'll put that down there. We'll make this a double depot. There we go. And then that will help with this down here. I think we probably need more trains here anyway. Hang on a minute. There we go. So let's clone... I'd say let's throw another four trains at this try and get the ratings up because that is really bad what are the ratings like over here 51 percent ah but that's that's all part of the pre-hub south ratings up here 86 that's good look the trucks are backing up slightly that's actually a good thing ratings over here 82 yep that's good we've got i don't know why i put a train service in down here but the ratings are 80%. Okay, so the ratings in this in the smaller parts are fine. 
it's just this pre-hub south where we've got tons and tons of coal sat around because the trains weren't coming. Okay, so that should actually pick up the amount of coal that's coming through. So we should end up with some more. I do feel like probably need to get rid of most of these trains. Because um, we've ended up with way too many at the moment. So let's stop them all. And get rid of them. But then we're going to put a few back in. So which ones are the ones with... That one's the one with the one with two engines. And I, I think I managed to work it out so the ones with two engines were very close to being as fast as the ones with um, not as many or, or, or too many or something. I don't know. Here we go. Right, we don't want to go to the North Hub first. If I clone this train now, will... And that, see, that didn't have shared orders. Oh, that's no good. We need them to have shared orders. Right, there we go. Let's have a look. So we've got a train. This has got shared orders. So if I skip and then clone that train again, does the train that I cloned also have the skip? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's just send um, those two onwards. Yeah, because we've got more. We've got more coal trains coming through now. It might be that this system here now actually starts to cycle through, get a bit better. Look, we've got trains stacking up here now, waiting to pick up coal. The ratings will go through the roof. The amount transported will go through the roof. Production will go up. Look at that. Production, 81 tonnes. 81 tonnes. That's terrible. Uh, there is one down here. We just need to check. Yeah, it's 74% transported. Do we have a statue in Ashford? Oh, we do now. Oh, right. Oh, uh, of course, back to caution. Okay, not ratings, not coverage. Okay, 800, yeah, we're not... 8,000 still. Devise, where's that one? Okay. Let's get some more going. Right, it's been quite a little fixy, addy, bitty sort of episode, really, hasn't it? Uh, London West, London's growing actually quite nicely. Especially, you look around London South and around London North, it's doing really well. It will come out around London West, and I suppose, really, we should purchase the land in front of London West. I think that actually annoys the town if you purchase a lot of land. But to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> we need to keep them away from there. Brilliant. And this line here, now we've fixed it. The London to Birmingham line should be doing a lot better. Yep, we've got quite a lot of passengers there. Most of them are wanting to go to Manchester. So let's have a look at the Lund uh, the Manchester to Birmingham orders. It starts at Birmingham. Okay. Clone the train. Four? Really? Yep, four. We're M4. And Birmingham, we can tell you what we can do with the local authority there. We can... Um, well, let's, ha let, let's have a statue. Always have a statue. And we'll fund new buildings. We've got 35 million in the bank now, so hopefully we can start raising our operating profit a little bit more. Fund new buildings there and build statue of company owner. There we go. There we go. Wigan Woods. How is Wigan Woods doing? What's the ratings over here now? Look at that. It's excellent. Well, I bet we can go to the local authority. Build another statue. There we go. That'll make the ratings up to nearly 90, I think. Which is really good because that means we'll be shifting pretty much all of that iron ore. Here... Ratings have slipped considerably. We need more trains. There we go. 
Yeah, ratings of 61% is not good enough. Wow. I didn't notice how much iron ore was sat there. There, there is actually a thousand, thousand tons of iron ore. How are we doing down here at the other iron ore? See, we're doing all right here. We've got plenty of trains set here at the south hub. The south hub is smaller. Right, caution mean to change again. It looks like we're slowly getting the amount of passengers down. Okay. Um, not really interested in the stats of the money at the minute. There we go. I mean, really, these guys need an easy place to turn around. But they're having to go all the way down there. I just noticed that they're actually coming from the town that I'm creating them at and they're going to the interchange first. But actually the flow of the road vehicles around here is actually quite good. Seems to be doing alright. There's not a lot of... I mean they just seem to be flowing. There's no bottling up. I mean the odd ones breaking down here and there but with so many road vehicles you'd kind of expect that to happen I guess. Okay, trains are re look, trains are going in and out in here, servicing nicely. Going straight through the middle. Brilliant, that's all going well. Good, 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 good. We've got a big patch here, which probably means that we lost a farm recently. Same here. We need to keep an eye out on the map to make sure that like here this was almost certainly a farm at one point why was it not connected up to our network when was it a farm when was it not a farm look this one this has got to have almost certainly have been a farm recently near Kings Lynn but I'm generally quite happy with how things are going how are my ratings over here 68% very good Hmm. 68% very good. Oh my goodness, there's quite a lot of goods stacking up at goods out. And there's actually no trains loading at all, so we need more of them. There we go. Just throw more trains at the network. That doesn't always solve everything. Right, as you can see, our operating profit is not that smooth at the moment. But recently we have fixed a lot of things. We've removed some trains which weren't being used. We've improved some trains that were blocked, a few signals that were the wrong way. Overall, I think we've got a good thing going there and I'm not seeing any trains on the new one. How many trains are still in the depot? Okay, so we've got a, a few trains in the depot still. I guess that line just needs to get work and get, get busier. Just check the signals. Yep, that all looks good to me. I'll tell you what we will do though, we'll keep removing these bits. If a train gets lost, these cross bits allow the train to go between the double depots if it's lost. Which is it's not going to ever get anywhere to where it can figure out where it needs to be. But if you take that off, it's only got one real option because it can't go back on itself because of the one-way path signals. So it has to go forward down the line. And eventually, if it goes forward down the line, it will find its way. And I've just noticed these ones here are actually force depots, which is interesting. Didn't know I was doing it like that. Okay. Uh, oh, we've got an oil refinery explosion. Where are we? Oh, right south. Look at this. An oil refinery has exploded mysteriously. There is an aircraft going across here. Oh, dear. Right, well, I, like I said, I think we've done really well. Oh, back to caution exchange. How are we doing? Yes, we're getting it down. Look, 7,000. This has got to be a good thing, right? Swindon again. Where's Swindon gone? Here it is. Let's clone these vehicles. There we go. Get those red vehicles on the road. Get them going around Swindham. 
get them sorting everything out. There we go. Whew, lots of fixing, sorting, adding and expanding today. I liked it. That was good. How are we doing down here now? Well, we've got nothing waiting, but also there's not a backlog of trains now. So we've cleared the backlog, fixed the flow, and the ratings, 73%. Nice. Nice, look. Tons of the, the production down here should improve quite nicely. Brilliant. Okay, well, if you are playing along, remember, your year 2000 saves are what I want next, and I will see you all rather soon. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, all your thoughts, ideas, and questions down in the comments section. And if you're enjoying these videos and you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so for more videos like this and uh, other games that are about trains and space and other things. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye.